Good morning, folks. It's Tessa from Lavender and Bloom Flower Farm in Georgetown, Kentucky. This is our second and final day to plant the rest of our 150,000 tulips. A couple weeks ago, we planted about 100,000. Today, we're going to finish it off. We've got some friends coming out and we'll show you the highlights. We're going to be so happy to have it done. My dad came all the way from Paducah, Kentucky to help us plant tulips today. <laughs> Great state of Kentucky. Is it cold enough for you? No, nah, it's just right. Couldn't get any better. Looks like we got a lot of work to do today. Beautiful place, beautiful place. The tulips were delivered yesterday and they sat outside unprotected overnight. But thankfully it didn't get below freezing and our supplier says that's no problem. So thanks to the rain, the snow, as long as it didn't get below 28, I guess you said. Yep, exactly where they're started already. Okay. Sounds great. I appreciate it. Thanks, Walter. Thanks you too. Bye. Alright, tool of God said it's okay to keep them outside. That's good, since they already were. Yeah. <laughs> they all look pretty good though, didn't they? After yeah. sitting out all night. He said, oh no. That's good. How's it feel to be planting tulips, Carson? Pretty good. <laughs> what? Last year, we laid on the ground all day, making sure the bulbs were pointy side up. That was no fun with 25,000 bulbs, and it couldn't be fun with 150,000 bulbs. Through our local Scott County Extension agent, thank you Sharon Flint, we learned about phototropism. Because a plant needs light to grow, it will automatically bend and grow toward the direction of light. Well, that was a game changer. Because of that, we were able to plant our bulbs by pouring them into the rows, smoothing them out so they lay in a single layer, and then covering them with four to six inches of dirt. Even after changing to the blade implement, it's still not covering the bulbs like we want. As you can see, it was doing nothing at all. I ended up pushing the dirt over the bulbs with the front loader, which worked but was much slower than we would like. But because we had a lot of great help from our family, we got the job done. We so appreciate all your hard work and couldn't have done it without you. Because these guys were such great workers, we actually had time to start a new project. What do you think we're planting now? Tell me what you're planting. <laughs> um, we're planting a bowl of beauty peonies. Yay! They're so pretty, I bet. I think those are pink. And there's a duchess something. Oh, duchess de Nemour. Yes. Or something like that. And then... There's another red one that we planted. And then these are the bowl of beauty. So. Nice, that'll be pretty. Lots of pretty colors. Hey, that's snow. Hey, that's is that rain snow. or is that snow? That's snow. Or sleep. I think it's yeah. sleep. Yeah. It's a mixed bag. You're right. Huh? Rain or snow? <laughs> snow. He said sleep. Sleep. It's not. We won't add any fertilizers or amendments to the soil. All the nutrients a tulip needs are wrapped up in that tiny little bulb. They love the cold and actually need three to four weeks of freezing temperatures to produce those tall stems and large colorful blooms. 
They will even last longer in the field with cold overcast days. This year, our tulips started popping out of the ground around February 27th and we're ready to cut one month later. We expect to have blooms available for about three weeks next year. It's the perfect treat after a cold, gloomy winter. We hope you enjoyed watching our tulip planting journey. If you did, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and highlight the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. Thanks so much for watching.